Hello guys and welcome to our week review of the Xiaomi Redmi Note 9S. So I've had this phone for just under a week now and I've been having a look at it basically to give my honest opinion and honest review on this phone. Now the one we have here is the 6GB RAM version so a little bit faster and obviously it's got that gaming processor in it so we will be doing a little bit of gaming in this just to sort of show off what it can do. I've been very impressed with this phone on the whole, again as the last video. As in the last video, I stated that I really liked how this phone looked and I'm a big fan of symmetrical things. So that ticks all the box for me. Exterior design wise, I think this phone is an absolutely incredible phone and I think it looks brilliant. But yeah, in terms of functionality, this phone is also a very high performing phone. With 5,200 milliamp hour battery, this phone will last you around two days on average with use without having to charge it. So that's full days as well, basically this phone you don't really have to worry about the battery life as it has got a ginormous battery inside it so that's one thing i've noticed basically does not run out of battery ever the speaker on this phone is pretty good as well it's pretty well tuned i would say one of the better speakers that xiaomi have had for a while got good lows good highs and on the whole the speaker has been pretty good it does come with a headphone jack which is pretty cool because a lot of phones recently haven't been coming with one mainly because the push is towards using those wireless earbuds and like free buds type thing so they haven't been with with headphone jacks too much recently so i'm pretty glad to see that on this xiaomi making sure you can still use those stereo headphones in your xiaomi device now we get onto the camera camera quality on this phone is absolutely incredible we've taken a lot of photos of this we went out on a nice walk took a bunch of photos for you so you can see what this can do it is a 48 megapixel main camera i believe this camera is developed by samsung followed by an 8 megapixel 5 and a 2 so you've got an incredible camera on here and it takes very good daylight photos now i say daylight because the nighttime and sort of darker photos don't look as good in my opinion i don't have too many pictures of the nighttime mode just because i've been using this during the work day rather than at night however as i've seen in other people's reviews the nighttime camera isn't that good i did try to take some sort of poorly lit photos just to try and take advantage of that nighttime camera and i'll show you a little bit of that now along with some of the photos we took in the daytime just so you can see that clear comparison on the whole the camera is insane you will notice that our photos are extremely crisp and it picks up those details a lot of cameras on mobile phones seem to filter out so it looks very good and very crisp This phone does support 18 watt fast charge with a 22.5 watt fast charger inside the box. You can charge this up super quick anyway, even if you even if you never run out of battery like we noticed, this phone always seemed to be above 40%, no matter whether I was using it in the morning or the afternoon, it just seemed to have battery constantly. One of the drawbacks I did think about this phone though was the fact that the microphone for picking up calls is skewed to one side. Now I'm not too sure what the reason is behind that, but what I have seen is the fact it has a notification light underneath the speaker here. It is only a white color, so you can't actually customize what color it changes to, but some Something to note is some people will look for that notification light and a lot of models nowadays don't really have that but this one does and it's just underneath the speaker here just above that little punch hole camera in the center there the screen on the whole looks incredible and the apps work really well i know xiaomi have tweaked their software a little bit and when you take when you do phone calls or text they run on google's phone call and text services rather than xiaomi's own i'm not too sure what the reason is behind that but i guess the upgrade from android 9 to android 10 while still staying on that miui 11 means that they had to sort of drop a little bit of their own functionality I know Google drops the fact that you can record phone calls and things like that and Xiaomi with their own phone call software where you're allowing you to do that on previous uh, versions like Android 9 but you can't do that on the newest one as they are using the Google phone app. Phone screen on the whole looks great. There's a lot of customizability and it's super smooth especially the 6 gigabyte version. Basically no, it's no lag. I know on the lower models there is a little bit of lag when you're playing high intensity games. It's not really noticeable. It's just sort of on that high high end if you put it into the ultra high settings but on this version as you're
you'll see later, there is basically no lag at all and it looks great and the colors are really, really vibrant and really there. On the contrary to that though, in high sunlight and high light scenarios when we were outside, etc., when we were trying to take those photos on an extremely rare sunny day in England, the screen was a little bit dim and I did find myself looking for a little bit of shade sometimes trying to actually see the screen. It's not a deal breaker, but it's just the fact that the screen was a little bit dim on the whole. We have this listed right now on ephones.com for 209.99. So everything taken into account with the incredible processor, their six gig RAM, the absolutely incredible camera, almost flagship quality, and the vibrant screen. I think 209.99 is an incredible deal for this phone. I would keep your eye out, however, because there might be a price drop very, very soon. You might be able to get your hands on this phone for a little bit cheaper than it is right now. So keep your eye on that. If you want to keep updated with our prices and our price drops and our flash sales, make sure to subscribe to our news letter. It'll be linked in the description below. Basically, it's at the bottom of our page on ephones.com. You'll be able to see at the bottom. In all bold, subscribe to our newsletter. If you sub to that, you'll be able to be the first to know when we have these flash sales. On the whole, this Xiaomi Redmi Note 9S has blown me away a little bit. For the price, I think you can't really argue. It's an insanely good phone for how much it is. So we're gonna go straight in and show you a little bit of gaming now. This phone does have a process of geared towards gaming, as mentioned in the last video. So I'll show you what it can do. It's pretty impressive. We've gone on fairly high settings on this. We haven't maxed it out. I'll show you what we're on, just so you can take this into consideration. So we're on medium here and tell you what we will do we'll chuck that up to high real quick just so you can see what it's like we'll leave everything else the same so yeah we'll show you what this can do So you'll notice there's little to no lag when playing this and it's pretty it's pretty good going. In fact, I wouldn't say there's any lag at all, so it's mainly just no lag, not little. But yeah, no, it's pretty good going. And if you're like me and you're pretty bad at games to begin with, it's pretty nice to have a little bit of an advantage above people where your phone is pretty uh, pretty swift and there is basically next to no lag at all. So yeah, pretty good going. On the whole, a very good option for gaming, especially for the price. The Xiaomi Redmi Note 9S does have this cool little function with split screen mode. Now I know a lot of Android phones do have this functionality, but I just thought it, it works particularly smooth on this Redmi Note 9S. So all you have to do is click the square button down here, click the split screen up here, drag whatever app you want up to the top, and then click the second app at the bottom. So you can, you know, browse the website looking for a new phone and look for what app you want to install. You can have both running simultaneously and use both at the same time with basically next to no lag. I know there is a little bit of lag when scrolling. It's not as smooth as that Realme phone that we looked at last week, but 
it is pretty good. Now I did mention in the previous video that I don't like the look of having a polka dot camera in the middle of the screen, but what I did notice is some of the apps can be constrained down, so it's not really annoying when you're watching videos and watching movies, for example. It's actually not that in the way. It just seems like a little bit of a wasted screen for me. Actually, on the whole, I was a little bit wrong and you know, it's not too bad or too annoying as far as cameras go. Xiaomi always have this little thing where you can sort of clean your phone and clean up the apps you have. So this is just an example. It's got this package installer and when you install an app from the Google Play Store, it will scan it through this other virus scanner and check it. Now I'm not too sure why it has that because the Google Play Store has its own sort of Google authenticator to make sure they're not a virus, but it does it anyway. And one of the slightly irritating parts is the fact that it actually has an add on here. Now I know in the past, Xiaomi have been slated for having ads on their devices straight out the box, but they did cut down massively with this Redmi Note 9S and with the new MIUI 11 on Android 10.0. There is next to no ads, but this is just one of them here. Now I did a little bit of digging, a little bit of research, and you can turn this off, but it's just a little bit annoying that it is on it by default. That is about the only criticism I have for this phone. For the price, you have get an insane camera, very strong processor, and it is practically future-proof. This phone works very well, and if my only criticism is the fact that it has a little ad on the virus scanner then you know i can live with that on the whole great phone you'll never run out of battery and you'll take some really crisp photos if that's what you're into and if you want to do some gaming you know this phone will be able to handle it as well so the xiaomi redmi note 9s is a solid contender for a mid-range phone boasting high range specs so on the whole i'll give this phone a solid nine and a half out of ten it's a very strong phone and i know xiaomi always give you these quality phones and it looks epic i mean look at that great color i know i've put a bit of fingerprints on it now messed it up a little bit but it does still look great so yeah that's my week later that's my full opinion on the xiaomi redmi note 9s i think it's a great phone thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed that if you have any questions about the xiaomi please let us know in the comments below and we'll be sure to answer you if you enjoyed the video please consider subscribing it would mean a lot to us I'm trying to bring this channel up to the same as our main channel ephones if you want to see that channel that will also be linked in the description below thank you guys for watching make sure to stay tuned for the next review and i'll see you in the next video